the grass is starting to green up. That's a good thing. We're going to be seeing another color along the roads, though, orange. Not foliage orange no. either. <laughs> Dreaded orange. Road work signs and construction crews will soon be all over the roads and highways. You know, so many folks look forward to the spring and summer months, mm -hmm. except for, of course, construction season. This year's going to be plenty of it, plenty of lane closures, and, of course, detours that they're going to have to learn. Another weekend closure for Highway 100. Weekend, South. Remember this? Highway 100 has a St. Louis closures closures in the West this Metro. was last construction season. I was talking about the major construction projects hitting the West Metro, specifically along I-494 and Highway 100. Those two projects definitely had a major impact last year, and they're, they're, they're going to be an impact this year as well. MnDOT's West Area Manager John Griffith says West Metro commuters hoping to have a summer not plagued with orange cones may be in for a little disappointment, but the two projects are making progress. Yeah, we're about halfway done with two major projects. What we were able to accomplish, getting some of the roadway reconstructed so we get a little bit more space, uh, but it's still going to be in under construction, so there's going to be some impacts in terms of traffic slowing and, and construction equipment. So here's what you can expect in the West Metro this construction season. A lot going on along Highway 100. A portion of that they're going to be working on bridges and, of course, widening the road there. A little further south along 100, they're doing a pavement preservation project, which is going to take a lot of time uh, for this entire project. Eight directional weekend closures, which means some weekends they're going to have the northbound lane closed, other weekends they're going to have the southbound lane closed. They're also going to have two full weekend closures, so a lot to watch out for. A little further west along 494, all of the traffic is going to switch to the southbound side of 494 between uh, Maple Grove, the Fish Lake interchange there, and then of course 394, while crews are going to be working on the northbound lanes. What motors are going to have to watch out for, though, are the many ramp closures. We're going to have a number of them, and they switch in terms of where we're at and what kind of work's being done, so getting onto the freeway might be challenging for those folks. So much honking going People on People are angry. angry. Angry motorists. Well, Minda says their best advice for West Metro commuters and pretty much across the Metro. You know, there's stuff going on 94, 694, sorry, Monday, is to plan ahead. There's an open house tonight about the Highway 100 project. It's taking place at Groves Academy in St. Louis Park from 5 to 7. So you can voice your concerns and opinions for that one. There's another one, uh, an open house in St. Paul for drivers to learn more about road work on I-94 from St. Paul to Woodbury. It starts at 4.30 at the Sunray Public Library in St. Paul. And of course, keep it here. I'll keep everyone posted all spring and summer long. Construction season is a sacrifice I think most of us are yeah, willing to better make. Better roads is what we need. So yeah. there we go.